Hey guys, welcome back to Mercenaries. In the last part, we finished off the last of the heart suit, and now all we have is the ace. Now, just one thing I want to say before we start. Um, just before recording this video, I've been sick for a few days, and it was like a double whammy of a sore throat and a head cold. So if my voice sounds like nasally and messed up, and if I sniffle a lot, that's why. So anyway, sorry if that detracts from the narration, but anyway, let's do this gathered enough intel to convince me it's time to go after the Ace of Hearts, General Chu Kang. Thank God, I was wondering when you'd get here. I don't mind saying, I'm dependent on you now to get things done. And the only thing that matters to me right now is Kang. Thanks to the work you did in the field, we've narrowed down Kang's location to a secret nuclear complex. It's where they're putting together Song's nukes, so there's a chance Song's there. Now, our intel indicates Kang has no idea we've discovered this location, so the whole place will be wide open. Best get a move on before he starts locking down the place. Awesome. Time to infiltrate. And of course, since we have access to North Korean vehicles, uh, this is actually one of the easier ones, if I remember it correctly. I never really have a whole lot of trouble with this place. Not really. Although, I believe that there's one thing that can happen, that if you do it, you have to start over. And if you're like me, um, you might do it on accident. So, maybe, maybe not, but let's, let's see if I can remember exactly what it is. It might be just a glitch the first time it happened, but I'm pretty sure it happened because I messed something up. And I will be telling you about it um, when we actually get around to it. So anyway. I've been hearing rumors that Sung's trying to contact his people. That he's trying to convince the rats not to leave the ship. Don't forget, he still holds some very valuable nuclear chips. Okay, so, ally supply drop, two free ones, not bad. Oh, that's it? Screw you, allies, you're cheap. Okay, so, uh, this is the entire area, just that. And there's no radiation or anything. Very small area. So, um, first thing you want to do, go ahead and get a vehicle. Don't get a chopper, uh, it's better to do this with a tank, I find. Uh, where is it? Aha, here it is. The armored APC, the armored armored personnel carrier. Let's use that. Okay. okay I'm on my yes, way. I know you're on your way. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. It's like as, as soon as I saw that, like the choppers being right next to each other. <laughs> oh man, as soon as I saw the choppers get that close to each other, I knew that was gonna happen. It's like, oh come on, please let it happen. Please let it happen. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, that was awesome. Okay, so anyway, um, <laughs> get your tank and possibly kill the other chopper and don't lose any money for it because it wasn't your fault. Get your disguise and let's head on in. Now, as you can see, this place is kind of held up pretty tight. So you really want to get this thing because you can literally just roll over everything. Not the people. <laughs> Don't roll over the people. That's bad. Because you don't want to lose your disguise just yet. Because as you can see, that's three rocket guys up there. Just roll over the tank traps. And then just work your way inside. Anyway. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Get through the hallway. This place is bristling with our patrols. Take it stealthy now and don't let them trigger those alarms. Alright. So just roll on in. Now watch out. Right there. Along the sides is water. So take this bridge really slowly. As you roll off the edge, you'll lose this tank. And you don't want that. Because if I remember correctly, there are almost there are almost no vehicles in here. So if you have the firepower, you're good. And also, what you want to do is roll off to the side here, crack down that fence, and you have all this area that is unpatrolled. So this is actually a very accessible mission. This one is not hard at all, and I actually recommend just rolling around and just opening up areas. Just so that you can actually have some area to move around in. 
And also, um, if you see me aiming really weirdly, like incompetently, and I'm aiming in the wrong spots, and it takes a while for me to readjust, it's because I've also been playing some other games lately. So, um, and they have different aiming. And they're not shooters, just so you know. But anyway, uh, got two rocket guys there, and um, more areas. Now, if you want to, you can pretty much just skip all this and just go around. That is what I recommend you do. Um, <laughs> this is actually a pretty easy one, if I remember correctly. Unless you get unlucky, then it's kind of easy. So, once again, just roll around and just create passages. And hopefully you won't roll over anybody and lose your disguise. I love that. You can just barely roll up on a giant, like, iron or no, steel container, and then just it poofs away. I love that. <laughs> So realistic. Doesn't that always happen when you get up on a steel container? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and we got a supply crate here. That's good. What could be inside? I do not care. And look, we are already up to where we need to get. So, <laughs> kind of easy. But anyway, as you go, just keep destroying fences and make sure that you remember where you put your holes. Because you need... You're going to want to be able to move around easily. If something does go wrong, at least then you got an exit strategy. Ah. Whoa, come on. Roll over these fences. Come on. And there. All right. Now, I think we might be good. Now, this building right here. Do you see this building? Let me see. This building right here, as you can see, you have these little posts here, so you can't take any vehicle inside, so you're screwed from there. So if you try to destroy this building, this is the thing that screws you over. Do not destroy this building, because as you can see inside there, here I'll look up, uh, you see in the building there, you can see that stairway. If you kill the building, then the stairway is destroyed and you can't climb up, which you have to do. So don't do it. Anyway, um... Drive your tank like this and make your make a wall in between people behind you, and you can get out without being spotted. So let's do this. Welcome, Mister. You are just in time for the firework display. Long live the glorious leader! The Ocean Hearts has overloaded the reactor. Stop his escape and get out of there before the meltdown. All right, all right. So now is when <sighs> crap goes down, and we gotta get there quick. Even though there's no timer, and we can pretty much just take as much time as we want. Okay. Anyway. Kill all these douches. Don't waste too much time, though, because... Honestly, I don't remember if you are on a time limit. But it's probably best not to find out. So, just rush in, go for headshots, take everybody out, and yeah. Alright, so, just follow this thing, uh, this catwalk. And take this, uh, take this right, and then go over this way. Because this, this looks like it's the quickest way across. So just do this. Alright, and as you can see, we're almost... <laughs> we're like halfway through this, we've taken 9 damage. So this is not a hard mission at all. Honestly. I mean, it's not difficult. Look at this, I'm just mowing them down. This is the easiest ace mission in the game. Honestly. It's kind of weird that the heart is like this. You'd think that the club would be like this. Hello, ace of hearts. Whoa. Rick, stop him before he takes off. Take off and what? <laughs> oh, a chopper. Hello. <laughs> Sucker. No chopper for you, noobs. Okay. Now, hopefully they don't have any anti-air stuff. And now use their chopper to just take them out. Come on. Watch out for the red areas. Do not fly behind the building. I don't know if they'll shoot you down or not. So just don't find out. Okay, he's dead. Now let's go ahead and land. And let's go ahead and verify this dude. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Yes! The ace is mine! Blah, 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 blah. Let's do this. Alright, come on. Alright, now. Die. Die. Hello? Die, please. What's this? Hey, what's this? What is it? Uh. Looks like a videotape. Of course, that must be how someone's communicating with his men. Good work. That should earn us a very nice bonus. Oh, okay. So, uh, pick up this... Okay, cool. 
um, come back here, and there will apparently be a tape, and just pick it up and you get your bonus. I see your Not bad. And I got a chopper to make my escape in. That's kind of kick awesome. <laughs> this worked like perfectly. OMG. Uh, land, please. Uh, dude, I could make breakfast for 50 people while you guys are landing. Ugh. It's a good thing you guys got killed by the tank. Oh, wait, that's it? Wow. What the? <laughs> that was awesome. That was hilarious. In the cutscene, there was a freaking... <laughs> they got hit by the fence. That's hilarious. Ah, man, ten minutes for the freaking ace mission. That was pathetic. All right, so let's see this hilarious news report. Look down at the headlines to see the funny part. Okay. Oh, only 5,000? Screw you. Following tonight's capture of Ace of Hearts General Chul Kang, AN forces unearthed a startling discovery. A secretly recorded videotape intended for distribution amongst only the highest echelon of Song's army. One of the tape's more shocking moments occurs when Song makes a passing reference to his father, President Choi Kim. AN analysts are examining the tape, hoping it may provide clues to Song's whereabouts. Rock formations seen in the background and accumulation of snow indicate that Song is currently holed up in the northwest province of the country, near the Chinese border. In other recent developments, the crime syndicate now identified as the Russian Mafia continues to grow stronger and bolder with every passing day. GSRN has confirmed that they were behind the destruction and looting earlier today of a North Korean uranium mine outside of Taejeon a turn of events which should make them an even more formidable force in the region. From Kum jang -ni, this is Adriana Livingston for GSRN. Wow, of course, you got the Mafia boss. Um, <laughs> you get him arrested for freaking carrot smuggling. That, that's, that's so awesome. Uh, that one, they didn't have a whole lot of funny ones they just threw in that last one. Which I was kind of disappointed by. I was like, oh man, tell me they're going to actually have one that's funny. Because they went through like three or four and I didn't notice anything funny. Maybe I'm just stupid. But carrot smuggling. That's awesome. But anyway, that is the easiest way to do that mission. Uh, just get a vehicle. Get a tank. Uh, you don't really have to go like zigzag the way I did through all the areas. Just go along the side and just get up to, you know, that... Uh, the building and go in and just rush through and you're good. It's really easy. Anyway, new shop item is the carpet bomb. Sweet. Okay, and so... All that's left between you and the hundred million dollars is General Song and his all-female special forces squad. Thank you, Fiona. Um, now we are in the final stretch of the game. And, okay, thank you. Now we are done with all three suits, all of them captured, and now all we have is the aces. And just like she said, I mean, uh, the, the spades, not the aces. Just like she said, they are all female. All the number cards are female, except for the face cards. All the face cards are dudes. So, and there he is, Choi Song, the ace of spades. The ace of spades, the ace of spades. Anyway, had I, it, someone was going to make that reference, so... It was going to happen, so might as well just be me. Anyway, I know I butchered the song, but whatever. Uh, no choppers. So anyway, next time on Mercenaries, we will head after the final cards of the final suit in the game. So, see you guys next time.